Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've had a few requests for a how-to video when it comes to installing the BC Remastered mod onto Star Trek Bridge Commander. So this is going to be the how-to guide on how to do it. Now obviously first thing you will need is a copy of Star Trek Bridge Commander. If you don't already own a copy of Star Trek Bridge Commander either from GOG or for a disc copy if you're one of the OG players like myself, uh, you can buy it directly from GOG. Uh, they added all the majority of the Star Trek games to their library. I think it was two or three years ago. Um, yeah, it doesn't exactly say. But I think it was a few years ago. So you can buy it from here. It's pretty cheap, 13 bucks. I mean, don't buy a coffee for a few days, you know. Um, and once you do have that, and if you have the disc copy, you just have to install it. But you'll end up with the Star Trek Bridge Commander install folder. Uh Mine has a few additional files in here because it is a GOG version, not the stock one. If you're using the disk copy, you will need to install the 1.1 patch, which you can get from Nexus Mods, ModDB, or GameFront. Now, first thing we will need to do, because I'm using the GOG version, it already has the 1.1 patch installed, so I can skip that step. You will need the four gigabyte patch, which for some reason is empty. I'm just going to redo this. There we go. Cut that. We're going to bring this over to our install folder. Now, by default, this is usually under your GOG game library if you're installing it from GOG. If not, it'll be under program files, x86, I think. We just got to paste that in here. Now, what this 4 gigabyte patch does is it allows the game to access four gigs of memory instead of tr traditional two gigs associated with 32-bit uh, programs. So like the stock application launch um, only gives you access to two gigs of memory because it's a 32-bit app. Now we just patched it to an X 64-bit, uh, uh, so X64 which will allow it to access up to four gigs of memory, which is going to be very important because we're about to install a mod that has better graphics. So it's going to need more memory. Now, next step will be to obviously extract your BC remastered mod. Now this you can download from Nexus Mods, or again, ModDB or GameFront, whichever one's easier for you. I will have this link as well as the patch and the GOG, everything you need, I'll link in the description below. So you just go ahead and download it. Once you have it downloaded, you extract it. So extract all, I already have it extracted, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so we have to go into the Star Trek Bridge Commander folder. We have to delete the data scripts and SFX folders. So go ahead and delete those. You're probably thinking, oh, you can't delete those, we'll need them. We won't need them in this case here because in the BC Remastered, uh, it comes with all the files you need. So we're gonna copy this uh, data, SFX, and scripts. We don't need PY right now. We probably won't ever need it. So we're gonna copy this, go back to the install folder, and we're gonna paste this in here. And I'll be back as soon as this is done transferring over. Now you will get a pop-up near the end asking if you want to replace this. You'll only get this pop-up if you're using the GOG version because they did patch the multiplayer. Um, but the um, BC Remastered does have its own master server file. So you just want to hit yes, replace. And that's pretty much it. One extra thing you do need to know is if you're running a AMD GPU, for some reason or another, Star Trek Bridge Commander does not like AMD GPUs. Uh, there is a workaround. It's DG Voodoo 2. Uh, essentially, this is like a kind of an in-between program to convert certain files to be compatible with AMD. Uh, it's a little complicated, but suffice it to say that it's the easiest fix. So I'm just going to put this in a new tab. Now, 
the only there's we don't need everything. We're just gonna want to copy this, bring that over to the bridge commander folder. And then we want to go back to this here and go under MS X86. And you want to select B3D8 as well as B3D LMM and D draw and do the same thing and bring those into here. Now, once you have those files transferred, you can forget about that because we won't need that anymore. You're going to want to launch the DG Voodoo compiler. And you'll get this window that pops up. Um, first things first, you probably want to disable all the watermarks. So under Glide, there's 3D FX watermark. You want to disable that. Once you go under DirectX, there's another watermark here, DG Voodoo watermark. Just turn that off. Um, now, the important part in here is you want to make sure you have this 3D accelerated card set up. And you want to set the VRAM to 1 gig. Uh, if you find that the game crashes... Um, after like 30, 45 minutes of play, maybe just increase this as needed. Um, it will help fix some issues. Um, now, before you hit OK, you want to hit Apply. Make sure it saves the settings. And then from there, you should be good to launch the game if you're on an AMD GPU. Uh, again, if you're not using an AMD GPU and you have just your NVIDIA graphics card or you're using a built-in uh, NVIDIA iGPU. Um, you don't have to put these files in here. You're good to just launch the game without the G DG Voodoo, so you don't have to transfer those files. This is only if you have an AMD GPU. I hope this has been useful for some of you. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this process or you guys need a follow-up video for more information, just let me know in the comments. Again, in the description, I will have the links for all this stuff here where you can download all the files needed and where you can buy the game. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you did find it useful. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.